All right, question 21 here. It says a water tank in the form of an inverted cone is being emptied at the rate of 6 meters cubed per minute. The altitude of the cone is 24 meters and the radius is 12 meters. Find how fast the water level is lowering when the water is 10 meters deep. Okay, so first off, let's draw this out. Okay, we have an inverted cone here, okay, which uh, said that uh, the altitude was 24. Okay, so the altitude of this cone was 24, and uh, the radius is 12. Okay, so what we want to do is figure out how fast the water level is lowering when the water is 10 meters deep. So we want to figure out how fast the, the water height is changing over time when the height is 10 meters. Okay, we also know that water is being emptied at a rate of six meters cubed per minute. Okay, when you're dealing with cubic units, that's gonna be dealing with volume. And since it's meters cubed per minute, that's the change in volume over the change in time. Okay, so I know if it's being emptied, we're losing six uh, meters cubed per minute. All right. So what do we know about a cone? Okay, well, we know the volume of a cone is equal to pi r squared h, but it's a third of that. Okay. So if we we're gonna do this out here, we'd go ahead and take the derivative of that and then fill in what we know and try to solve for what we're looking for. However, there's a problem though. We have um, a radius and a height, but I don't have a dr dt anywhere in here. So what I need to do is get everything in terms of h. And we're gonna do that by setting up a ratio between our uh, radius and our height. So when the radius is 12, we know that the height is 24. Okay, so, well, that means the radius to the height is really just a 1 to 2 ratio. Okay, 12 divided by 24 is 1 to 2. Um, so here, if we're trying to solve this, then I can go ahead and cross multiply and get that 2r is equal to 1h. But I want to figure out what r is, so I can just simply say that r is h over 2. So I'm going to take that and sub that into my r value up here. So you really get that the volume formula is one third pi and then h over two squared times h. So if we simplify that down, we get one third pi h squared over four times h, which simply becomes one twelfth pi h cubed. All right, now we can go ahead and take the derivative of this. So if I take the derivative of this, we get dv dt is equal to 3 times 1 12th would be 1 4th pi h squared dh dt. Okay, and I'm just going ahead and using that um, power rule here to take the derivative. And so then I'm going to fill in what I know from this problem. Okay, well, dv dt we know is negative 6. 1 4th pi times our height. We said the height was 10 here, so I'm going to fill in 10 squared and then we're going to try to solve this for dh dt. So let's actually finish this out here. So we're going to get negative 6 equals 10 squared is 100. 100 times a fourth is going to just be 25. So it's become 25 dh dt. And so if I find dh dt, just divide by that 25 pi on both sides. So dh dt is equal to negative 6 over 25 pi, and that's meters per minute. And there we go. That's the answer to this problem.